Hello. We're watching this. Oh, magic eraser for Mr. Clean. Good. Oh, I was going to click the button. It ran away. Harry Games. I haven't played a game by them, I don't think. Mr. Clean can clean up your hair with his magic eraser. There's a game called Why Am I Dead? I don't understand. I appear to be dead. There's blood all over the damn place. Arrow keys in the Wasta space or Kachinka. I think that I can possess people. Hell yes, I can. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> this is weird. Your ex will do this. Open doors and talk. Let's go press E on this guy. Talk, skip, text, and reply. Well, didn't find anything. Didn't think so. Not sure what you were trying to do in coming here. Don't you think we should try and find out who did this? No. That's what cops do, and I'm not a cop. You've already called 911, leave it at that. With the storm, what's going on, nobody will make it here for weeks. So we wait until they do make it. He's not going anywhere. Why would someone want to kill the owner of the hotel? Beats the hell out of me. The boss had a way of pissing people off. Can't imagine anyone pissed off enough to off him, though. If you're done playing detective, I'm gonna booze up. You're an asshole. <laughs> huh. So I can just... I see. So wait. I can just do this with anyone? Sabrina Gust is bitching. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I... Let me just stick with my previous charge. Hang on. Question. I don't know. If I go with him. Oh yeah, he says entirely different things. Never mind. So apparently you get different options with everyone. That's cool. Except that I'm sticking with this guy for a while. I think his name is like Ed, Ted or something. I want to see the note. Who are you? My name is Ted. What's yours? Cricket. Nice to meet you, Cricket. Did you know the hotel owner? I didn't know, but I feel terrible about what happened. I don't know who's who. <laughs> I think this might be cricket that I am. Did anyone see him out of place last night? Well, sorta. Sorta? I may know the whereabouts of some of the people here last night. They were having a party, getting drunk, having an orgy in the middle of the hotel floor. It was gross. But, well, it's not stuff that I could tell just anybody, you know? Nothing against you. I just don't know anything about you. A man is dead. Why would you withhold this kind of information? I know, I know, you're right, but if there really is a killer in our midst, don't you think spreading the info about everyone's schedules and whereabouts, doesn't that sound kind of dangerous? Listen, I'm just saying, I need to be able to trust you first. Given the circumstances, I don't think that's unreasonable, right? All I want to know is, what you rally by? How do I know you aren't the killer? Well, actually, at the time I heard the gunshot, I was using the bathroom, the one at the center of the hall. Can anyone back that up? If not, that's not really an alibi. Actually, there was somebody there. You could watch for me. Any idea where I'd find him? I don't know. I guess I'd try the bathroom. Like, he's still there? He's just in the bathroom all night long, throwing up. Okay, I need to check your alibi out before we can get any further. I think I'm Ted. I think. I can't really tell. Um. Look at all this booze. Oh, I am Cricket. I am totally Cricket. So, you're the hotel manager? Was. I was the hotel manager. Now I'm just a goddamn bum. Do you know where anyone, why anyone would want to kill the owner? Well, he was a hard guy to like. Pissed plenty of people off, but not enough anyone would want to kill him. Sounds like you two had a history. We sure did. And that's what it is. History. Sounds like you're almost happy he's dead. Yeah, I get it. I know what you're thinking. Well, it wasn't me. That's all I can say. Sure, I hated the guy's guts. But killing him wouldn't do me any good anyway. He wouldn't let me see my daughter again, that's for sure. So that's that. I don't owe you any explanations. Where do you? Ah! Woo! I'm in your body. Also, I have this booze. Oh, I thought that was a little hat that he was wearing. I was like, oh, why the fuck? Like, look, it looks like a little hat. Like he's wearing a little hat. It's a bottle. 
God damn. Can I talk to you now? Interrogation. Oh hey kid, you're still here. I can't leave even if I, I can't leave even if I wanted to because of the storm. Yeah, but I was hoping you'd have tried anyway. Ellipses. Sorry. I'm gonna go back to cricket now. Sorry about that, that's bad. Let's call for you. And then unbeknownst to everyone else, Ted and that other dude were just like Hey, let's speak. Hey, do I'm sober. That's what's up. If you want to help out, bring me a bottle of vodka. That's not a healthy habit. Go fuck yourself. That's fair. I'm going to leave you two to kiss and make up. I can't leave without somebody. I'm going to let him go through your room. Yeah, it's good. Through your room. Shit. I'm going to abandon your body here. And then I'm going to go talk with Cricket. Because Cricket's actually trying to go and figure shit out. What the hell is all this? Why am I talking to a door? Did you notice anything suspicious last night? What? Did you notice anything suspicious last night? Shitter? Jesus, man, what the hell is your problem? What makes you think this is a good time and place to talk about this? Oh, it's a bathroom. Oh, no. Who are you? I'm sorry? What's your name? Um, really? I'm taking a dump, man. Did you know the owner? Huh? Did you know the owner? Uh, no, I didn't. How can you, how can you go away? <laughs> I'm on the poo poo. Hang on. I have an idea. I need your body. I need your Randy body. You know what would add some... You look real smug. You know something I don't? Me? No, I'm just trying to relax. I'm trying to put people at ease. They may not show it, but the people here are uneasy. Yeah, no, not buying it. You know something. Haha, <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I require your services. I... You know what would make this game a lot harder? If, if, you left, if you left the killer alone with somebody, they would... You'd kill them. And then you couldn't get the answers. Hey, someone in there? Yeah, sorry. Gonna be, gonna be a while. No worries. So, uh, how long have you been in there? Okay, maybe that was the wrong kind of question. That came out pretty weird. Yeah, it did. I asked because there's a guy who says that he was here during the murder and that you can cover up the story. Oh, guy with red hair? Yeah, he was here. I was having a bit of a nighttime emergency and he was using the bathroom at the time. Not sure what he was doing, but he was taking a long time and refusing to get out. Sort of like you right now? Maybe we ate the same crap. When we were in the middle of switching shifts, as it were, there was a gunshot. I wasn't in any position to go check it out at the time. Don't know what the redhead did. I see. Well, thanks for the info. All right, bye. I gotta go talk to Cricket. Okay, looks like your alibi checks out. Good, now that I'm spoken for, can you tell me what you know? Sure, ask me whatever you need to know. All right. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry. What's your alibi? Fair enough. You delivered, so I guess it's my turn. Odd as it is, I was in Orville's room at the time. He could confirm it if needed. He's a total weirdo. Maybe a bit unhinged. Actually, so normally, I'd stay away. But he also has a useful way of being everywhere and every around everyone, creepily. Some of the people around here seem to uh, seem off to me, so I was asking him if he, anything he knew. Actually, some of my knowledge about the other people's alibis is coming from him. So that's where I was. It's fair. Sorry. Oh! We're possessing a little girl. <laughs> sorry. I thought the exorcism thing would be appropriate. It wasn't. I'm sorry. I'm a little girl. I can get into everything. I run the fastest also. Hi, Mommy! Hey there, darling. I'm sorry you had to stay in this mangy place for so long. Once the storm clears up, we can go home. How does that sound? Sure, Mommy, but it's okay. I'm making lots of friends here. Oh, uh, really? Well, that's good. Morgan. Wow, lady, you sure are old. How cute. The little girl thinks she can get a rise out of me. Wow. 
That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Hey there, mister, what you doing? Nothing, really. What about yourself? Just running, around, just going around trying to bother people, really. Haha, <laughs> that's funny, but I'm sure you're not bothering anyone. I hope I am. It's more fun that way. I make it a game. I'm a bitch. Iblis, you, you're not serious, are you? A game? Yeah, yeah, I try and find what makes people uncomfortable and talk about that. It's fun. A child after my own heart. Wow, Ted, you are a dick. Hey, that miss, you seem anxious. Me? Oh, no, sweetie, I'm not anxious. Are you a virgin? Mommy says that virgins can be really uptight. <laughs> child, do you even know what that word means? Of course I do. Well enough, anyway. So what are you? Are you one? I, 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 I cannot have this conversation with a seven-year-old. Mothers shouldn't tell their kids things like that, honestly. Hey, seven and a half! Anyway, you don't seem so anxious anymore, so you're not fun. <laughs> Your fucking vagina. What the hell? Hey, mister, do you want to play a game? Oh, sure, I love games. I'm great at games. Any game, any game. Yep. Good. This game's called Gross the Other Person Out. Oh, oh, so we think it grosses stuff for something. What's the rule? And you win! That's... That's not nice. <laughs> You're right, mister. You are good at games. Wow. Oh my god. That's terrible. That's gross. That's disgusting. That's fucking wrong and decrepit. I approve. Iblis, you are my favorite, and you and I shall make this a thing. This is gonna be good. Going up to this person's room. We're gonna see a dead body, Iblis. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Look at this. Oh my god, he's dead. There's blood all over the place, Iblis. All over. That doesn't even look like a gunshot. A gunshot doesn't do this to somebody. The fuck are you talking about? Are you disturbed mentally, Iblis? You and I. We will eat this body to get. Oh, sorry. Wrong game. Wrong game. It's moving on. Moving on. Why can't I read this note? I just want to read that fucking note. Hi, Ted. <laughs> You're right where I left you. That's good. So. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. So basically, I think all you gotta do is make the right people talk to the correct people. Hey, mister! What you doing? Uh, ladies' room is to the right. I know! What you doing? Uh, where's your parents? Shouldn't be you who be with them. Nope, only my mom's here and I don't see my daddy anymore. That's, uh, really interesting. What you doing? There is a pause, followed by a deep and pained sigh. Please, just leave me alone. Why? Because you're bothering me. Why? Oh, okay, I get it. So that's how it's gonna be. Oh, thank God, is she finally gone? Hey, mister, what you doing? Ah! <laughs> Uh, I'm taking a poop. You're not helping me take a poop. Let's talk to the pedophile. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> pedophile, leave the girl in the hall. Yes. Hey there. Hey, you want to see something? Go away. Now. I don't have time for your antics. I... Uh... I think I'm... Oh my god. I'm, I'm in a trench coat. Hey, man, you want to see something? I'm pretty sure you don't want to do whatever you're thinking of doing. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, sweet Jesus, I'm going to expose myself. Hey, man, you want to see something? Uh, I couldn't if I wanted to. There's a door in the way. This guy is fucking gross. <laughs> oh, no. Like, he doesn't even have any pants on, you can tell. There's a doll over here. Steal this for myself. Hey, cricket. You wanna see something? I'm pretty sure that I don't. You wanna see something? She glares at you with utter contempt. So how things are going? She glares at you with utter contempt. Hey there, miss. She glares at you with utter contempt. Oh no, it's because she knows that I have a penis under here. She hates the penis. Make any sudden moves and I will inflict terrible pain on you. Ah, uh, <laughs> that grandma is a badass. No, stay away from me. Wow, straight up. 
Let's go talk to the little girl. As him. As him. It's gonna be bad. Hey there, little girl. How's it going? Mommy said if you came up to me, I should scream. Huh? Why would she say a thing like... Eee! Oh, God. Ah, uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, never mind. Okay, so apparently this guy's absolutely useless. Unless you're talking to him, I guess. Are you... Are you looking for something? Me? No. Uh, no. Nope. You sure? You seem distracted. Well, man, I mean, to be honest, I did lose something. Uh, yeah. What'd you lose? Maybe I can help. Well, uh, yeah, it's, uh... Okay, man, I'll just level with you. I left some jewelry in the hotel lobby yesterday. Today? Bam. Not there. Not lost Not lost and found. Somebody must have stolen. Only explanation. But who? Who do that? You left jewelry in the lobby? Yeah, man, a couple of earrings. You're staring at me. You judging me? Don't judge me! I don't need you judging! Fucking creepy asshole. <laughs> Not lost and found. Nah. Nah. Lost and found. Nah. Let's go possess a grandma. Hey, Granny! I think she can fucking see me. Holy shit. I can't possess her. Yeah, I can. I forgot to press the wrong... Right, I was pressing the wrong button. I can't look at your face anymore. Goodbye. Hello, young man. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I can't... Is something funny? Funny? I don't understand. Well, you've always got a stupid grin on your face. Haha, <laughs> funny old lady. My god, if you're this country's future, I can't die fast enough. Haha. <laughs> I am a bitch. Give me this doll. Oh. Let me tell you something, boy. Huh? I don't like the way you're always snooping around here. Why's that? It's unseemly and disrespectful, just like I'd expect a young kid to act. Sorry you feel that way. What I'm doing is important, though. And another thing! You're naive! Sickeningly naive! I'm sorry. Have I done something to offend you? No, no, you, not at all, sweetie. I just don't like you. <laughs> I can hardly stand to look at you. I beg your pardon? <laughs> sorry. No, that was. I beg your pardon? Oh, quit the act, honey. You know what I'm talking about. No, I'm afraid I don't. What is it? His money? A new car? Maybe some job connections? Why, you... Ah, uh, you vile old woman! You are implying that I dated the honor simply to use him? No, if that's the wrong person, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, that's what I'm implying. You didn't pick up on that yet. What would make you assume such a thing? Oh, honey, your eyes are brimming with guilt. It's written all over you. I, I, well, I, yes, it didn't start that way, but I began to notice some things. I suppose I should tell the whole truth. Tell it to someone else. I just wanted to hear you confess. You are truly an evil woman, do you know? So, funny thing, this woman, right here, this old bitch, is the absolute best at getting information out of people. We are using her now and forever. Yes. Ten bucks says it's cricket. Motherfucker! Hi, yeah. Ladies' room's on the other side. I guess you can't... Hang on. Into the ladies' room. I guess I can't go to the ladies' room. Because I'm a man. Your life... Hang on. You fucker! My, my. You're an interesting young man. Hello, ma'am. Thank you, I think. People don't usually call me interesting. How are you doing? I know. How are you doing? Yes, Interesting. Interesting smell, interesting face. Thanks. I'm insulting you, you imbecile. Tell me, why do you smell so awful? Yeah, oh, that's not nice. You look nice, but yeah, no. You're not nice, I don't think. <sighs> Little girl. You know, sweetie, you're a sharp attack than you look. Thanks, lady. Mommy says I have a good, uh, what's the word? In intuition. Yes, dear, I'd say that sums it up. Shame you're a spoiled, rotten brat, though. Mommy also says something about <laughs> you, too. I'm not, a use I'm not allowed to use bad words, though. Ha! Clever girl. Go 
fuck some shit up. Bitch! Oh. May I have a word with you, young man? That really depends, ma'am. Oh, am I interrupting something? What? No, not particularly. I, I just... Oh, that's good. I thought I might be getting in the way of your drinking. Hey, wait a minute, lady. Maybe others put up with your shit, but I won't. You keep being a snide old hag. See what good that does you. Better an old hag than a useless drunk. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm a big bitch. I have to get the right combination of people talking. All right, motherfuckers. I can't leave. I can't leave. I just want to gather everyone out in the hall. Everyone in the hall. Now. I can't do that. Fuck. Go inside the room. Go inside this room. Oh, right. I'm a ghost. Fucking stupid. Alright. Wow! Hello there, handsome. I, uh, hello. What is it that brings you to this hotel, anyway? Well, actually, I was supposed to meet with somebody at the hotel. He wasn't there, the, uh, he wasn't there, though. And anyway, this mystery takes precedent. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you find him eventually. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not optimistic. Learn the handsome. Hello there. What brings a man like you to this hotel? Oh, you know, just taking a break from it all. Vacation is really useful every now and again. And what better place than in the most isolated hotel in the country? Haha, <laughs> yes it is. Isolated. Oh my god, I walk so slow because I have to have this fucking hip sway bullshit. God damn it. Hey, handsome. Hi, yeah, ladies' room is on the other side. <laughs> you there. Fuck me. Oh, I honestly don't know why I want to talk to you, honestly. Okay. That's fair. Hey, sweetie! How was the- How was the- How are things going? I'm fine. Mommy Sarah's still being really quiet, though. It's like she's scared of something. Oh, honey, don't be afraid. We're gonna be okay. No, Sarah's scared. I'm not scared. Haha, <laughs> I see. I see, bunch. So, I guess... Cricket is the only one trying to solve mysteries. Let's go talk to the drunk. Get his ass out here. Drunkard! Hey there. Hi, hey, uh, how's it going? What can I do to help? Well, I was... I did have a really important question I was hoping you could answer. Well, sure, what do you need to know? Why did you like the... Why did you like the hotel owner so much? Just like, oh, it's... It's complicated. I'd rather really not get into it. Ah, uh, not even for me. It's really, really important to me. <sighs> Here's all you need to know. He got in the way of me and my daughter. And I haven't seen her since. You know, your daughter Iblis looks like she did when she was younger. Hey, honey, how's it going? Fine. So it brings a girl like you to this hotel. Well, I, uh, it, it was for vacation. Is that right? It was the same for me. How's it going? Is something wrong, sweetie? You don't sound fine. Probably in your nasal passages. No, no, really, I'm fine. Just a bit shaken up. I see. Sorry to hear that. Wow. Excuse, no, excuse me. What is it you do for a living? Well, young miss, I'm glad you asked. It's a thing prone to lots of judgment by small-minded people. But well, being an exhibitionist is about getting past that, all the judging. It's about getting down to the root, you know. The root, it's, I'm sorry I asked. You aren't who I was looking for. Uh, exhibitionist. Hey, that little, hey, that little girl. How are you? I'm fine, miss. Are you and your mommy on vacation? 
And your mommy on vacation? That's what mommy says. I don't know why we'd be on vacation in a place like this. <sighs> Good point. Where the hell's the... I'm looking for the old lady now. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'm gonna go talk to everyone. Everyone. Hey, bitches. Ted? Hi. Oh, hey, what's up? If you don't mind my asking, what do you do? Well, I don't mind. I'm a salesman. Like a lot of people here, I'm just on vacation. Normally, I travel around a lot in more hospitable areas. Mm, yes, that would be very convenient. How so? I... never mind. I'm such a bitch. You're trying to find the murderer? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I am. I mean, the police won't be won't be here for here. That's the wrong here. Won't be here for a while, and we're all trapped in by the storm. I figure it's up to us to find the truth behind this. I see. I can't wait. What have you found? Well, everybody's heard the gunshot. Outside of that, there's not much to go on. The killer would have had to go from the owner's room to back to their own, but somehow nobody heard or saw them. That... that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Which makes it sound like not everyone's being honest. Almost as if there were multiple people involved. What do you think about that? That sounds... awful. Yeah. <laughs> Questioning. Oh yeah, he asks lots of questions I forgot. Cricket is actually doing shit. You just have to have other people to learn things about other people. Did you notice anything suspicious last night? I... I don't think so. Are you sure? This is important. I will... I heard a loud bang. It woke me up at night. Did you hear it too? I think I heard... I think I heard something slamming too. Um... Ellipses. I'm sorry, that's all I can think of. Yeah. Boom. Did you know him? I met him when I checked in. I remember, he was very nice. Who are you? Um, I'm Lucille. Nice to meet you. Oh, um, I'm sorry, what's your name? Cricket. Ah, nice to meet you, Cricket. <laughs> who are you? Who I am is none of your damn business, that's who I am. Did you know the hotel owner? Not well, but I bet he observed what he got. What? Don't look at me like that. I saw how he was with the ladies. Any pretty thing he saw, he just had to have it. That's not how a married man should act. At least I think he was married. Did you notice anything suspicious about last night? Playing detective, are we? I'll let you in on a secret here, sweetie. Everything in this hotel is suspicious. You should be asking me if I saw anything normal. Bitch. Okay. Ted said he was in your room last night. Is that true? Hmm. Ted, Ted. Ted, 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 Ted. Hmm. Black hair, colorful shirt, about my height. Oh, yeah, Ted, of course. What a great guy, that Ted. Yeah, he was talking last night about stuff. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ted, did you check out? Good by. Fair enough. Delivered. I was in Arval's room at the time. He confirmed it if it needed. It's a total weirdo. But he's also useful way of being everywhere and around everyone, creepily. Some of the people he was seeming off to me, so I was asking him anything he knew. He actually, some of my knowledge about other people's alibis is coming from him. So that's where I was. Bow. Yo, Orville. We have shit to talk about. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Things are good. Glad to hear it. Are you, are you looking for something? I mean, no. Nope. You seem distracted. Oh, and I had to talk to him about that. How's it going? Not freaked out? The owner and all? Oh yeah, that was bad, but no man, I'm okay. People in my occupation gotta deal with the bad. 
Jewelry in the lobby, uh, I, uh, but, uh, jewelry. I need the earrings. Little girl. You ever have the feeling people sometimes pretend to be things they aren't? Haha, <laughs> well, sure, sometimes. Why? Oh, no reason. Ah, there you are. Lady. God damn it, I can't ever find the right room. God damn. Okay. Wow. Ted said he was in your room last night. Is this true? Ted, 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 Ted. Okay, so apparently that's the wrong thing. Did you notice anything suspicious last night? Suspicious? Why? Why would anything be suspicious? Because there was a murder last night, idiot. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, yeah. There was a murder, wasn't there? Hmm. I heard a gunshot. You think that had something to do with the murder? I think that was the murder! Hey, no need to get snappy, snappy man. Don't you snap at me, snappy man. Uh, b -b 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 <gasps> Whoa, I hadn't thought of that before. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Didn't hear nothing else, though. If someone had killed him, I'd have heard him coming back to the room. At least, that's what I think. But I didn't hear nothing. Just fucking lying piece of shit. Crack whore, bitch. Hey, what's your name? My name's Iblis. What's yours? I'm Cricket. I think it Morgan's your mother. Yeah! Anything suspicious? Sarah's pretty quiet yesterday. That was kind of weird. Who's Sarah? Sarah's my friend. She is in my, my bed now. Normally she talks all the time. I can't get her to be quiet, but yesterday she didn't say nothing. Oh, I see. Sarah's a doll. Did Sarah say anything today? Well, she did. Actually, it... Well, Sarah scared me today. She said that somebody else would die tonight. Uh, well... Good thing that's not creepy at all. Nope, not creepy. The girl is the murderer. This is weird. Who else can I get to talk to each other? Who haven't I not possessed yet? Let's go get that drunk bastard to talk to everyone. Yo, bitch! I require your anus. You look like Bert. I look like a chef. I'm gonna fuck you. You creep me out. Bye. No. Fair enough. Wow. You look. You look just like she did. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, I have a question, mister. Ask away. She never asked a question. Bitch. Ah, you. How are you holding up, miss? Oh, I'm doing all right, just trying to take care of Iblis. Iblis? Oh, yes, my daughter Iblis. She's quite a handful. She's a curious girl, but at times like this, curiosity doesn't pay off. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Kids shouldn't have to see this stuff. Indeed. Did you want to ask me something? Yeah. Oh, I mean, no. I see. All right, I guess I should go then. It's been a pleasure. Bye. We're gonna have sex. It's gonna be good. Wait, bathroom man. Tell me your secrets. Wait, I have a question. Forget it. How long have you been in there? You know, I'd rather like, keep that information to myself. Sure thing, bud. I just hope you enjoyed all that Mexican. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> Lol. I cooked it myself. I put X likes in it. You look real smug. You know something I don't... Me? No, I'm just trying to relax. Trying to put people at ease. Oh, I already did this. Bitch. So... 
What's up with you? I, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. You shy of something? What's your problem? I, no, I, I just... Seriously, what's going on with you? Something happened? Yes. What's up with you? Okay, so... That's weird. Fair enough. Uh, wow. Uh, hello. Holy shit, she speaks! You finally able to hold a conversation, girl? Ah, uh, it was my phone doing stupid stuff. Hang on. Let's see who the fuck this is. Oh, oh, it's, it's email. You know the owner? Huh? Oh yeah, of course I did. He was my boss. So, you know what he did? What he did? Listen, you gotta be a bit more specific than that. If you're trying to accuse me of something, just come out and say it. I never mind. God damn it, get your f just say it, you fucking bitch. I'm possessing you. I can bolster you with my own courage. Hey, bitch. Hey, ma'am, you holding up all right? Don't patronize me, son. I'm fine. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. I think that's everyone, isn't it? There has to be somebody in the other room. Who have I not possessed to talk to everyone else? Oh, yeah. Um, hello? Hi, yeah, ladies' room's on the other side. Um. Oh, thanks. Sorry. No. Sorry. Hello. S sorry, did you know the owner? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Who is in this far room? That bitch. Sorry, I, I miss. Can I ask you a question? I don't want you to, but you will anyway, so just get it over with. D did you know the owner? Like, or anyone else in this hotel? God, no, and I'm glad for it. A bunch of degenerates, Jews, and druggies here. Wow, that was okay. Bye. Druggies, Jews, and degenerates. You have those shits and spades. I don't know what to do. This is getting weird. Oh, you're safe here. Said I was in danger. Oh, wow. Well, shit. Nobody, I guess. So, I cannot not read this note. This note is going to piss me the fuck off. To my room. I need to be alone, Illinois. It's my body. I'm trying to possess it. Possess the body. Possess the body. Okay. Straight up possession. Hey, honey, how's it going? Fine. Uh, is something wrong, sweetie? You don't sound fine. Ah, uh, I just try to get through this now. I 
I saw that you know the honor. Oh yes, we just spent some time together. And bashful as you sort of seem to ask questions like that. Did you ever mention something about something you had to meet soon? Had to meet soon? No, I don't recall anything like that. I wait. How did you know about that? Hi, miss. What do you do? Devote my time to raising my daughter, Iblis. In your livelihood, where does it come from? I, I truly preferred it when you spoke meekly, or not at all. She's a whore. If you are really so determined, it's for my settlement with my ex-husband. That is my livelihood for now, while I spent time with my daughter. Now, why are you so interested in knowing? Okay, well, that's prying. Let's go talk to that cricket dude. Fuck, where did I leave cricket? Oh, right. He's getting drunk in here. Hello, cricket. Hang on, wait. What have you found? Fuck. Prick it. What the fuck are you doing? Suspiciousness. This is bad. Plainly, again, we're not close. I'm afraid I don't have any information. I might be of help to you. I thought I had to believe you must have noticed something. Well, as a matter of fact, I did pick up on some things. Actually, to be honest, something rather large. I suppose now is the time to lie for the sake of vanity. Ask me anything about the owner. I probably have the answers. Was there anyone that have wanted to kill the owner? I wish I knew of someone who did. Fortunately, I'm not aware of someone of such motive. It is possible that the murder was pre not premeditated. You said you noticed something. What was it? Yes, yes. When I was with him, I may have accidentally seen some of his record papers. It was staggering. The amount of money going in and out of his hands. It was then that I realized it. This hotel was simply a front for the owner. There was no way he could have earned that kind of money through this place. I stayed with him, hoping to find out more, and perhaps I would have. But as of now, that was all I could find out. I don't know who killed the owner, but I'm sure he was... I don't even know I'm using that voice. It's the wrong one. But I'm sure it was tied up in his... this. He must have been involved in something illegal, I'm sure of it. Wow. Well, that changes things. Thank you for your honesty. Stash. Did he act differently before his death? Differently? No, not really. Actually, did it make really someone? Sounds extremely important. The way he acted. Perhaps that involved in that was involved in this somehow. Did he ever say anything about this person? Any descriptions? No, unfortunately. So illegal shit. You. Fucking. You there. You look illegal. Trying to talk to you. Oh, I heard the Ted thing doesn't work because he's just an asshole. Did you notice anything since. Hotel Honor? Who are you? Illegal shit. Elizabeth got some new dialogue options, but past that, fuck. Am I not the owner in the ghost? Like, isn't this, like, this, see this purple dildo here? This is the owner, I think. I'm pretty sure I was, I thought it was. This doesn't even look like an owner anymore. This is fucking gross. Well, damn. I have to go and do other things. This is, this is Table as Cricket possessing the body of. Signing off for today. And I'll get back to this and solve the shit out of it tomorrow. Thank you and goodbye. Also, I love you.